We're revisiting past areas. Past testing puzzles. Hey there, it's Vidwal, and welcome back to another brain numbing, brain thumping, brain exercising, grey meta, swelling, punching, pain inducing, game subliminal. <laughs> Part 6. So, the game full of insanity, and the last part was no different. I guess we managed to make ourselves the size of a dust mite, and... Well, we turned a room into a frickin' Skyrim map, I reckon. <laughs> it was insane. Anyway, we uh, managed to get back to some semblance of normalcy, according to Dr. Glenn, but I don't know. I'm not sure about how much faith I'm putting in that guy. But on we go, because uh, I could keep exercising the brain. Well, uh, hang on. let me just say that better. I could do with a bit more brain exercise. How about that? Yeah, all the Dr. Glenn talk is getting me scrambled. All right, well, we're back in our room and it's 3 a.m. 3 a. So, uh, we're either, I don't know, waking up or uh, into another dream or to a, hopefully a, a less complicated version of our dream. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Oh. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Oh. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Okay. Hang on. Was this supposed to be the end of our experience? And let me guess. Something's gone wrong. That ain't no surprise. No surprise at all. The road is... that needs some work. I think the lack of road might have something to do with that. Um, alright, I wonder how much longer there is in this playthrough. This might be a really short episode. Yeah, the silence is deafening. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Oh, yeah. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Okay. We're hoping you break new ground. Now. That don't look like any red paint from a tin. Know what I'm saying? Huh? Know what I'm saying? That looks very much like blood. And someone with, you know, high cholesterol or something. Could be me. Oh. Well, there's a tin of paint. But, and it looks like that colour, but... I'm betting... Had nothing to do with it. I haven't had a green one yet. Oh, I did in the, uh, part two, I think. Yeah. I'm so thirsty... For something ominous to happen. That's so random. <laughs> Anyone for a movie? Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Okay. Impossible. Reformulating. I'm not going anywhere without my can. Is this area just... A repetition of itself? Kinda looks like it. Just doing circles. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Oh. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Okay. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. That doesn't sound great for me. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. What? Goodbye. What? What? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that's a little perplexing. And, uh, what? I. No more GLaDOS help? In fact, I didn't even remember catching a name from this so called assistant. So we're going to be like self therapying ourselves? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see what we can do. I don't like being alone with my own thoughts. Don't like this. I don't like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Things are working out well. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello? Okay, it's not in our room. I don't really want to click it. You know, what happened at 3 a.m. in the real world? In this person's history? Because that's where I'm starting to go with my thoughts. Am I just a psycho? Have I been subjected to something by someone else? Or am I the doer of evil? Any clues? Like... Is this like a classroom thing? A knife? Was I conducting a cooking show? Was it like, you know, Kay's cooking? Yeah. Well... Okay. That's different. <laughs> oh joy. Oh joyest of joys. The joys are all joying around in my head. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Yeah! Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, hello. Uh, hello? Have I broken the game? I think I've broken it. Somebody help me! Uh, GLaDOS? I may need to, uh, try again. One second! Something tells me I should make this big, so there's more room, you know? Ugh. Thank you. Oh, I thought we were by ourselves. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Uh -huh. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Helpful! Something tells me, Dr. Glenn, 
that I'm going to do my utmost best to screw up whatever you're trying to do to help me. Because it's just pure entertainment when you do that. And the purest forms of it. You have a tail. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Complete and utter sense. Yeah. Okay. Is there any point going to the black? Okay. <laughs> the point? And what's the point? What is the Yeah. Lots of points being made right now. What they are, I'm yet to work out. Okay. I think we're going to be doing some sort of. Oh. Door. Uncovery. Uncovering. Yeah, words are scrambled like the head is right now. I think this therapy needs improvement. Hey, Glenn. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Been there, done that. This whole game's just full of that. I feel like I've exercised plenty. I've also exercised my insanity as well. And I'm not sure if that's good. It's not good to prod the insane parts of your head. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me guess. Okay, music is interesting, somehow decided to pick up a little bit, oh yeah, I guess I'll just go this way, recycling cardboard only, hey, that stuff makes some fantastic mansion sized houses alright, been there, I've lived it, although for about five minutes, I feel like it's telling me to take a left. But that can't be right. Perception is not reality. Yeah! Thank you. I've discovered that. I've discovered that plenty of times. Yeah. Are you loose dreaming? Please head to the exit to wake up. Okay. Trying. I'm trying, but... Seems like this therapy involves the sleep to continue. Am I missing something? Okay. I think the game just really does want me to keep going. Around and around. How long we do this? Nobody knows. I feel like I'm missing something. 
No, I think I just literally keep going. Maybe if I go backwards. Wouldn't that be interesting and novel? If I went backwards! Maybe not. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm just gonna take it. The game's massively playing with me. Hole two. Well that's progress. That's good progress. Hole three. Okay. Oh yeah. Hole four. Going up in the levels. Going up in life, going up in our mental capacity of insanities. Okay. Right. Okay. The music continues. Oh. Some water, hey? Oh, thank you, my cube. Nope, that's all hard. Can't go for a swim. I've just got to rely on that cube to just relocate itself for me. Yeah, because I want to... every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. I suspect I'm there. I suspect I'm there. What else is to explain for all the craziness, hey? It's not my own insanity. I'm perfectly normal. Just a bit of murder somewhere in my history, but that shouldn't, you know, stop us from uh, living a normal life. I'm gonna opt to back out. Okay. Uh, what? What? What is that? What did I draw? Washington licensed dream architect. Not sure what that is about. That's cool. Does it reveal anything about my character? Am I? Am I like some, am I an architect? Am I, am I maybe not a, uh, person going for therapy as such, I may be experimenting on myself as the person that discovered this tech. That makes sense and I'm realizing how many brains I could royally screw up in this research and self-test. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've missed something. I've missed something. Oh, I missed something. I missed everything. I missed my brain. I missed my sanity. Oh, yes, that looks familiar. Oh, yeah, we're just 
It seems like we're sort of being, um, we're revisiting past areas, past testing puzzles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, it's not. Absolutely not. I do not believe your lies. Wow. This hotel is huge to need so many conjoined lifts. I'll just go this way. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna try and follow the arrows, or maybe I should go the opposite. of an alarm clock Ed. which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight a destabilizing dream weight we're we talking in mental terms Staircon, love me stairs. Uh, yeah, I think I'll I'll head towards the moon. Can I pick it up? Where? Uh, I'm now zooming instead of walking. Oh. Uh. Uh, 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 <laughs> I've just got to walk to follow the edges. Maybe uh, it'll take me to a corner. Maybe one of the corners has uh, the way out, you know? The way out of continual insanity or assaults from insanity oh yeah, I'm feeling very destabilized right now sure this is my room it's my room 100% it's my room any room is my room at 3 a.m. in the morning Alright, a soundproof room. Starting to make more sense now. Why you'd want a soundproof room. Although, typically, they're to stop people from hurting themselves inside of said rooms. Not quite so much for the soundproofing. So. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Well, hey, maybe I definitely am not a patient. Maybe, maybe I definitely am someone involved in the development of this technology. Paradoxes. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, we're going to be growing a, a building. White space. Paradox behavior 101. Someone's wiped that out. Remember, call jungle, jungles management. Music too dang loud. Scent of burned curry. <laughs> Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. 
Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask uh, Rysan Medical for increased canister order frequency. Canisters? <laughs> Diagnostic hey, warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. states, states. I insist. I insist. Uh, get big. Conception? Don't you mean reception? Ah, right, let me in. Yep, yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Completely normal. Nothing is weird. Broken. Oh, canisters. My theory is I'm somehow involved in this. As a developer of technologies. Where is that music coming from? Is it... Can I use the pewter? With the awesome screen from 1985. Do I just have to make it big? It's interesting that it's creating snow, or it's just simply flaking dust off the uh, the ceiling. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Okay. Wait. Do I have to try and create a paradox? Because there's nothing in the freaking door frame, right? Is there something I can grab? Is something else that I can move through or something? The paradox. This is the paradox! Please paradox from creating any refrains. Explosive dream overload. Overload. May result. Please paradox overload. Oh no. I'm... I'm shattering my mind, I reckon. Oh, my God. Oh, I think I'm mentally dead. Oh, evolved to a higher place. Maybe I've evolved on the level of someone like. Maybe I'm Superman. I am Superman! I can freaking fly! Oh. Well. I'm making it one. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah! Yep! Normal. Completely normal. Nothing strange going on here. Just trying to get back to reality. Oh. Trying to snap back to... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Tell me what's up. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. Pray tell. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Okay. White space. Ooh. 
visually, this totally reminds me of an old movie. And I'm pretty sure it's directed by Vincenzo Natali from memory. The guy behind Cube. He did another one called Nothing. And it's quite literally two blokes under stress living between some weird highway system. Dream up literally nothing. And they wake up and their home is literally isolated by white space. Watch that movie. It's insane. It is so awesome. And it reminds me of this. Okay. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> well... Who's trying to deceive who? Okay. Hang on. Oh, it's still there. Oh. Did that just move further away? I know, it's just my perspective. <laughs> yeah, it brings it a lot closer, my... um viewpoint settings when you bring it to the edge man it's just gone really ethereal all of a sudden well it's just sort of progressively gotten there hasn't it? awakening erase me relax the apps this must be definitely the beta part of the framework Oh. Not really getting used to that yet. Oh. Hello. Do I do something with you? Oh. I can't seem to see anywhere specific. Well, I can see the little saving icon, so something's happened. Do I just need to walk around, literally? Do I just gotta do circles? I'll just do circles for a little while. Just gonna circle. Go around and round. Waiting for something to change. Oh man, I thought that was some weird doorway. Alright, uh... You know what? Fly! I think I'll end this one. And continue in the next one. What do you say? I think it's a swell idea! Because, you know, swell, brain swells, brain pain, I've had enough. No, <laughs> I just need to stop the playthrough because it's starting to get a bit long. Anyway, like and subscribe if you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next part very soon.